วัสดีค่ะ Today we're gonna meet with the new principal of the RS Swiss Section School. And we're gonna have some interview with him. สวัสดีค่ะ Could you please introduce yourself? After working in education for the last 30 years, most recently as a principal in Zurich, in the school district Zurichberg, as a secondary school principal, I've been the principal of RIS Swiss Section since April of this year. In my earlier years, I have been a, a, a journalist and I've been an editor as well in a Swiss publishing house. And then I decided to, to be a teacher, a primary and a secondary teacher. After having worked as a teacher for 20 years, I decided to change, to dedicate myself to, to leadership, to school development. I decided to become a principal and that's why I took the training to be a principal. And here I am. So what was your inspiration to become an educator? Well, I always wanted to support kids and young adults in a very important phase of their life. I think it's really important. I'm, I myself am a father of two children which are grown up now. My son is uh, 22 years old, my daughter 24, but there is still so much they, they have to learn and it's so interesting to see how they develop and I think that that's really interesting. And I think for me it's important to, to give them all the, the help they need to, to survive in our different difficult world if you want and to, to be prepared for the world of tomorrow and with all its challenges and I, I think that's for me really important. It's essential that the young people become independent thinkers and can resolve problems to get ahead in this world. What was your most memorable experience while you were working as an educator? There have been many highlights in those 20 years that I have been a teacher and also in the years as a principal. But I think the, the most important thing is to see what they have become, what the students have become, how they grew up, how, how they have become young adults. For me, it's really interesting to see when they come back at our schools. There, there are several students who came back when they were 30 years old, 25 years old, to tell me what they did in their life how they remember school, how happy they were, and above all, what they have taken from school, all the experiences that helped them for their further lives. That's, for me, really, that fulfills me with satisfaction and contentment. That's, I'm glad to see that. What are the objectives that you want to bring forth with the school as the new director? Well, there's quite a few things. First of all, I'm in the process of analyzing the situation, what things are working well and are worth being preserved, and what things need to be changed. For example, digital transformation is a, a topic which we have to, to, to address, and we'll see that there's a, a lot of things to do in, in that domain. Secondly, there's the infrastructure. We need a new gym, sports hall, and then there will be the new building. There's a few things also in this domain that should be done. Then we have the Swiss Curriculum 21, which is already been adapted in Switzerland for the last few years and which we have to, to introduce here soon, I think pretty soon, and we will do all we can do for that. Then the next point is the German hub. That means we're going to offer more courses in German and not only during the lessons but also in the afternoon classes on the weekends things like summer camps which have been introduced last summer but I think there's a lot more things that we can do and will do more you will see that in the future I think this is a great aim that we are heading at Additionally, we want to face the, the problem of communication and transparency because I think parents want to be informed in the short time and so we'll, we'll try to do our best to, to, to improve that. We also want to improve the atmosphere here at school for our 
staff, for our teachers to keep the fluctuation down. Okay, as the new director, what are the standards that you plan to enhance at the school? Well, first of all, we have to preserve the things that work well at the school. You yourself, as a mother of a young child, you know that we're having a family-like atmosphere here. We've got small size classes, which grants that the possibility of individualized learning differentiation during the courses. And this allows us to, to put really the students in the center of the interest and at the center of our work. At the same time, we want to ensure that all the Swiss standards, for example, this Curriculum 21, as that I mentioned before, but also things like holistic learning, integration, and so on. How do you intend to overcome the implication of the COVID-19 on everyday school life? And also, what's the impact of the online learning on your students, also as well as on the teachers and the parents? Since we can't change the situation, we have to make the best out of it. Of course, online learning cannot replace social contacts or the relationship work, teacher, student. That's not possible. But as survey results show, our online teaching is quite good. Parents, students and also Swiss and German government can confirm, confirm this. We're having good results. And unlike many other international schools, we were able to hold the Matura exams at the Swiss Embassy and uh, they were successful. And I think that's good to know that we're having this possibility. Other schools didn't do their IBs. Mm -hmm. Another advantage in these hard times is also that a lot of teachers and also the staff have acquired a lot of knowledge concerning uh, digital tools and so this will help us also in our lessons in the future. How do you see the RAS Swiss Section School compared to other international schools? We're an official school abroad from Switzerland and Germany. Our students, when they graduate, they get access to universities worldwide, even free access in Germany and Switzerland. Although not everybody graduates, because this is very hard to, to succeed in, we're having our percentage is three to four times higher than the rate in, in Switzerland. That means here about 80 to even 90 percent of our students will end their school career with a Matura exam. And in Switzerland, it's only about 20 to 30 percent. We're obviously a, a smaller school with uh, small classes, that means uh, a small amount of students in a class. This allows us uh, responsibility, this allows us to be considerate with each individual. So this creates this family-like atmosphere and everybody knows everybody, parents, teachers, students. And I'm happy to be a part of that now and to contribute to, to this great thing that we're having here. Okay, thank you so much for having your time with us uh, for this interview. I'm so glad to get to know more about you and your vision for the school. On behalf of the parents, I would like to welcome you to our uh, school society and hope to get to see you more in the school in the future. Thank you. Thank you too.